uh yeah anyway so back for more dying like two um I, I unfortunately didn't record it but i mean you didn't really miss much the gameplay started or i started playing and someone came on the radio and said hey come to the canteen we're, we're all here or i'm sorry the fish eye <laughs> You know, in hindsight, I should have just started the gameplay at the damn thing, but I just, I never know what's going to happen, though. So this this is one of the main story quests I'm heading to. Oh look, I didn't notice this before. Little tanning bed. You're Aiden. They're waiting for you. Come on, the meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, He'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was going to send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could have used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving taunts. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? A lot of people say this place is dangerous. Well, you don't say. Dangerous? What place isn't dangerous in this town? Our best people are on this mission. You'll be working with Ro. He can be a real pain in the ass, but him you can rely on. And you can always get in touch with me. 
The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Now what? Where's your wife? Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Roe Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan? They're destined to stab you in the back. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Aw, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden. The entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Ro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. We're all waiting for you. It isn't helping anyone. Well, it seems like this is a quest that's going to happen, like, regardless of, of what I do here. Frank, are you alive, man? Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Ugh. It's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath. Frank? How do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and let the others astray. <coughs> who was that? A Judas, that's who. If it wasn't for Rav, <clears throat> past is dead. So they say, <laughs> what matters is, <sighs> that was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but how can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> you can't. Nobody can. Now, fuck you. Come on, tell me more. She's still seeing Well, that wasn't super helpful. Talk to me, son. Does a video still have a code? I don't know. 
Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us. I heard the renegades killed with you. All right, away we go. That zombie, he's a problem. Threat eliminated. And I, and I robbed you. I still can't do your quest, I don't think, dude. Very clean in down here. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... It's row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for... Just leave it. Get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro. An immunity booster? Buddy, I, I, I have like almost 20 minutes of immunity. I think I'll be fine. Zambies in here? Oh. Hmm. Bitch. Bro, 
I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. <laughs> Damn, Sammy's. What it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Yeah, sure. You can count on me. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it wrong. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Was that a, um, uh, Resident Evil reference? You know, Leon, he's talking about Chris. Feels like a Resident Evil reference. They certainly got me loaded up Chris? with uh, healing items. Yeah. <laughs> He's like even kind of, kind of looks like Chris a little bit. Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. Uh oh. <laughs> A reminder for your <laughs> please maintain a distance of two feet in the building. Cover your mouth and nose. Remember to wash your hands often. The virus can be spread through the air, via surfaces, or in contact. Or use food after heating it to a temperature above the degrees for a minimum of two seconds. A reminder, for your safety and that of those around you, please maintain a distance of two meters from all others in the world. Cover your mouth and nose. Remember to wash your hands often. Or the virus can be spread through the air, via surfaces, to a temperature above
Two row. I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. What do I do with it? Well, I certainly have done this enough to win all those utility stations. Oh, uh, I should have known better. Come on, Kinzo. Good dummy. Not sure why that didn't work last time. I, I did, ex you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's fine. That's a spooky hallway. Hmm. I have to lose this cable. <sighs> you know, and like swim straight through. Yeah. Okay, this, this is an annoying, like, video gamey thing, like, okay, do this thing, okay, now go all the way back, now get the thing, okay, now go back, like, I don't know, that's annoying to me. I don't like game design like that. Not a fan. did it ever gotten a metal pilgrim never i'll cut you one out of a potato we're going up to set up a temporary camp see you on the eighth floor <sighs> look at how much immunity i have it's crazy like I could stay in the dark for like ever. 35 minutes. Ridiculous. Hey, buddy. Wait. So everyone has loose chains sitting in vending machines. Where's Leon? I'm sorry, Ro. He, he didn't stand a chance. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. 
Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Are you coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So you have some time for a nap or to take a thump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. GRE detector. The GRE detector can be used to discover inhibitors hidden inside GRE crates in other locations. To expand the area covered by the GRE detector, activate radio towers to reveal inhibitor locations in new zones. After activating radio tower, all inhibitor containers hidden within the zones covered by the tower signal will be marked. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's fucking cool. I like that. Crying, man? Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Well, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> oh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Real cheap, too. Oh, no, did you have to? Now he won't shut up about him. Yeah, he traded his official PK knife for them. And when Roe found out, I had to clean the latrines for a week. But it was worth it, no? Now, I have my eye on a nice jacket at the same place. Just can't afford it at the moment. But this mission will earn me some extra, so I can buy it soon. Will you shut up already? We don't care about your wardrobe. You're just jealous, because you look like ass, and I get all the pussy. All <laughs> your mothers, you mean. <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. And we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. The ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then the rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys' screams for miles. Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Roe shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut-eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Wow! You rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? 
Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. What about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty. Aiden, the head honcho's here. Let's roll. Your map brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. That's cool. This is like unlocking safe zones and stuff like that. So I'm back to sell the fit in here. A little snug, ain't it? I'm assuming I can come back here at some point in the game and explore this building. Hey then. You're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. Right, bro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan. Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. want to hear a joke? No, oh, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say it, Pete. You're off key, dumbass. And one like this. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. Alright, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon.
careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. Damn, exploding zombies. Oh, fuck. Jack. Come on, Jack, are you there? There's... <clears throat> There's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Edro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. I heard him that way. Aiden! Oh, you survived. I thought you were dead. They fucking wish. You'll pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. Oh, well, I will. The transmitter? Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't. Here, the transmitter. Aiden, don't you uh, think you should wait for that potato metal I promised you? What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Uh, our dog tags. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. Luan? Luan, I'm in trouble. The PKs are all dead. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Fine. I'll wait. Ah, fuck. It's locked. I'm stuck here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry! Go 
get Frank. <laughs> 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 Thirtieth floor. The infected. They, they blew up. Fuck oh, it. I told you. Frank, wait. Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there, and he needs you. He needs a coffin. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Man, there's still so many things to loot on the ground. And I definitely, I need these. These small infected trophies and medium infected trophies. I need these things. So... Am I climbing the elevator now? How am I supposed to get over to that? Maybe let's let's take this through. So we can go here. All right, turn around, jump here. Really, nowhere else to go. I mean, I I see this ledge right here. I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. Oh, all right, cool. All right, see here. You've received a grappling hook, which allows you to swing on various objects and traverse more efficiently. The, the grappling hook can attach to any object on which the hook's reticle appears. The best routes are indicated in yellow. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so it's just another thing like the flashlight. Got it. Oh, 
All right. Well, now we're getting places. I like that. Well, then, like, I, I wonder what's the other tool I can get? Because there's, like, a third one. I think I'm getting the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple. But it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden? Upstairs. You have to go up one level. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Right to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb. It's different than the grappling hook in the first <laughs> game, because the oh shit. Uh oh my cat jumped jumped upon my desk. Um the the grappling hook in the first game would like would like it, it, it worked like the grappling hook from like uh the uh Batman Arkham games. Like Arkham and Arkham City and all that. Ow. This is kind of giving me vibes with some of those areas and uh, that zombie game I just played. Inhibitor container. <gasps> oh, okay. You can grapple on walls and shit, too. That's interesting. I kind of figured I had to go up this elevator shaft, but I'm like, well, maybe there's somewhere else you can go. There, there wasn't. So, can this seriously like stick on anything? Huh. But like, but like, you can't climb on it though. It just kind of lazily swings you around. Vodka. I, I'm actually gonna have some vodka tonight. All right. I think I'll upgrade health because I think my stamina is like as good as it's ever gonna get.
I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump, and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Yeah. Aiden! Tell. It's me. I won't leave you Get on your up. own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. Wait, what? No, no way, Luan. Luan? It couldn't have made that puzzle a little more obvious because I saw the things hanging from the bottom of the the I beam on the crane. I'm like, I'm like, gosh, I I wonder whatever I'm supposed to do here. These sections of the game make me think I'm playing Uncharted. <laughs> One day I'll, I'll do a gameplay on that game series. On easy mode, of course, just so I can just cruise through it and just play the game. You know how we do things in kids' old gameplays? No, I actually saw I got some new uh, <coughs> excuse me, some new subscribers. So if you're uh Oh, uh, you know what? I bet I gotta Yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh hell. Anyway, if you're a new sub to me, well thank you. I appreciate the sub. Hopefully you like my long form uh, boring gameplays, but uh you know. That's what the channel is. Just me playing through a game. Ain't, ain't nothing more or less than that. I don't do a ton of... Oh, Zambies. I don't do a ton of edits and shit like that. I tried that at the beginning of my channel doing a bunch of edits and shit like that. It just became too annoying to do. <laughs> Pop a pump over there. Not too worried about him. Yeah, 
Damn, that like big dude went down faster than the time I took your mom to Chili's. hear one of those suicide guys. I see one. Oh boy, moldy cigarettes. Just what I've always wanted. God, have you ever smoked a moldy cigarette? It is not a, a pleasant experience. Hanging, jumping, and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. I didn't ask her to come. I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. <laughs> Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You... you're where? On top of the building? <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will. Yeah, I got this. Wait, what? Why didn't I grab that? What the hell? Oh, I just got a shimmy. I get it. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Sh what were you after uh, on, on your mission? Radio New Hope. Imagine. Messages of peace and unity. Bring in peace. Together, giving them hope. Yeah, well, I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say? Oh, no. All right, whatever, just. I'm shocked it's not killing me. Hey, but that confirms that. 
that confirms the suspicion I had that those light things were grapple hook points. I thought they were. You know, I'm just gonna die. Fuck it. Take a head header, bro. That's the last time I'm looting that, if I die again. And I have a, a feeling I'm gonna die again. put me way back there hell no we're just dying fuck that hell no Ooh, gravity oh, 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 oh. i just wasn't paying attention just straight up i just wasn't even looking that's on me i ain't even mad about it Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of the grappling hook. It kind of has like a momentum system to it a little bit. there despite what the other said i really did have a good plan a solid plan we could really activate this transmitter yeah hell the army used to control that tower i have a transmitter here that can tap into their signal and take over their broadcast so all we'd have to do is activate the sector antenna I popped up for a second there was like an uh, inhibitor container around here somewhere. Oh, is that it over there? I'm at the transmitter. What's next?
Quan gets what he wants and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia. The truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? What? I'm wondering what kind of music you'd play on your radio station. And don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. What? Aiden? What have you done? You'll hear soon enough. And let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank! You handed control of this antenna to that washed up drunk! I can't believe it. I'll take it back. I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden. And I thought we were becoming friends. Uh, sorry, Jack. I made my choice. Good day, Philidor. Frank is back, and I've got some more exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drinking water are being collected at the canteen. All those in need can report to Nicholas. Stay tuned, and I'll be back soon with another message of hope. Meanwhile, enjoy the music. to see you too. Ugh. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, wh where did that come from? You owe me one. The soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry? I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass bastard. But the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden. My soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... Look. So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers? Now. Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? The wine. Uh, you tip. Ah, uh, oh, shit. The wine is not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? There aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. Well, I I wanted to explore that area some more. Jury signal now extends to the garrison. Okay. So there's a inhibitor container there. And on top of that building. Okay. 
Can I teleport over there? Is that a thing? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. All right, whatever. So, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Because you lost your chance to find Mia? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. <laughs> See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. Yeah, so I think this is how I get that inhibitor container that I couldn't get to uh, earlier. By earlier, I mean like, I don't know, a few gameplays ago. She is kind of weirding me out though. Like, why, why won't you go in in the apartment? Inhibitor container nearby. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? place cool <laughs> wonder if it works our mixtape hmm <laughs> this is I'm not like the little one I know inhibitor container nearby thought oh that's a pretty nice uh uh chessboard or i guess checkers in that case hmm how the hell do i oh go under it uh 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 the one <laughs> you look almost Almost happy. Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Do you still live here or? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is.
vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. A bow is probably not any better than what I have. No, not even close. your shoes great now get the fuck out of there oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music i mean i'm starting to see a whole new lawan here and you know what i don't blame this guy whoever he was for liking her fuck you aiden i, I didn't lawan wait what heck on oh you bastard Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Hmm. that make you go, hmm. Go on, are you there? Come on, I didn't need to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Meet her at her rooftop. I just tend to imagine just casually like paragliding around the city like that's just like yeah we just do this this is completely normal Also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or...? Did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to. But don't interrupt me. I'm busy. 
You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Cygnus. See what, miss? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. that I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. You there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... 
I'm, I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon. Alright then. Well, uh, I think this is a good enough place as any to end the gameplay. Of, uh, you know, I've I've accomplished stuff. I've done things, and uh, I'm feeling feeling pretty uh, pretty good about where where this ended up. So, I'm done. Throw me a like and a follow and all that other stuff I'm supposed to say. And uh, I'm out of here. So I'm gonna go and I will see you when I see you.